here we have our engine. Um, here's our cylinder. Here's our piston. Here's our piston rod. And here's our crankshaft. And up here we have our two valves, which intake on this side and exhaust over here. Here we have our air tank. Connected to it is a supply line, which goes up to an air regulator slash air filter, which goes into a splitter, which goes into our two solenoid valves. And the solenoid valves are connected by an air line to our actuators, which actuate the valves. Here we have our solenoids, which is connected through transistor circuitry to our Arduino board. Your Arduino board is connected to the PC, and also our rotary encoder is connected to our PC via serial cable. The rotary encoder is connected at the end of the crankshaft and measures the rotational angle of the crankshaft. The information goes through the serial connection into our computer and displays the current degrees. It, the computer sends back the information to the Arduino board and the Arduino controls the valves. Here we have our piston at top dead center getting ready to start the intake stroke. Our intake valve is open to allow fuel and air to come in through as the piston goes down through the intake stroke. Right after it hits bottom dead center it starts the compression stroke and closes the intake valve. Both valves are closed at this point, allowing the air and fuel mixture to be compressed until top dead center where a spark occurs, causing combustion. This starts the combustion stroke, causes it forcing the piston to go down. At, after bottom dead center of the combustion stroke, the exhaust valve opens to expel the burnt gas fuel mixture, and then the cycle repeats itself, starting back again with the intake stroke with the intake valve opening and the exhaust valve closing again.